Hello guys and pals, I'm Mikael and welcome back to, I think, the finale of Deltarune Chapter 2. So, in the last video we went through all of Queen's Castle, a bunch of puzzles and different battles. We actually even fought a rules card on that weird little boat ride with Ralsei. There was a cute little scene between Susie and Noelle where we got to see their relationship develop a little bit. And now we're really close to the boss fight, so it's time to fight the queen and finish this chapter. Let's jump back in. Chris, such insistence. Sorry, but I must turn you down. I've chosen Susan's route in the visual novel of life. Uh, was that the boss or is there more? What happens to the queen now? Tonight! The Roaring Night! Today I deign to create this world. Reaching its long hand to the sky, it coursed its will into its blade and made thrusting the fountain from the earth. Unfortunately, the world it created is trapped within the confines of the library. If only we had a way to make more darkness, we might be able to cover the whole world. That is when I realized this power, this power of the will, this power... Oh, she said the thing! This power of determination. Is this not something that all Lightners possess? If one was simply determined enough, could not anyone make a dark fountain? So then, if the night has taken its leave, then I will simply make a new one. Oh, she's gonna try and make a new fountain with Noelle's power? Noelle, honey, darling, sweetie, gravy! How do you find the giant hand? Great, and how do you feel about world domination? Oh, ouchie mama! Susie, you, you came to save me. Somehow, I, I knew you would. Uh, you did? Um, I mean, I, uh, well... Wait, 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 wait! You need to get out of here, hurry! Huh? I knew it. Something giant this way comes. Oh my god. Queen? Seems that you failed to notice. The giant freaking robot in the middle of my palace! This isn't good, she's invincible like this. Huh? She, she's been bragging about her final form all day. <laughs> you think growing a few inches is gonna help? <laughs> yes! Are we going to take over the world now? Susie, let's just give up and... Hell if we're giving up now. Susie? So what if you got another form? We've got one too. That's right, we have our combined friendship form. Chris, Rousey, come on. What are you doing? This is our ultimate. Uh, wait a sec, now that you mention it. Oh no, it appears I am evenly matched. I hope you won't mind if I don't hold back. We're falling! Any bright ideas on how we're getting out of this one? Um, we could try flapping our arms? Fear not. Your knight in glow in the dark armor is here. Birdly? Chris, Susie, my energy is still too low to help you fight. So I found help for you. Behold, comrades! On your quest against Queen, you've made all sorts of buddies, right? Using our junk-making skills, we modified everyone to work together. I shall also take credit for this. There he is. Oh, it's all the people I've recruited. Chris, Susie, behold! The ultimate group project. Oh my god. With a splendid base. My strongest JPEGs. Flashing lights. Happy... Bravery, meow noise, my energy, squeak noise, tender loving care, fresh cooking, organization, 
and most of all, whatever this thing it is. Is it gonna be fucking punch out? Oh my Round god. One. Fight. Giga Queen blocks the way! Oh my god. Um power up each hit. Better dodge, so I have to fight. Okay, well. The time for words is over! Now it's a time to fight! Only Seascape roars fast. It's so epic. How is he gonna top this in every other chapter? Damn. Shit. Oh, just kidding. I totally will keep on looking as I kick at your face. Punch during Queen's turn. Oh, I can still attack. The time has come for the world to realize her own strength, her own will, her own determination. Oh, shit. She will create a new dark fountain. Then another, then another. Your ass. Boom. Oh, she's angry now. Round two. Round two. Fight. Dodge and Ensign Aura fired up. Then when the whole world is covered in darkness, she and everyone can live in peace, free of fear and suffering. Oh shit. Razi advises you to dodge then counter punch. Okay, well, that's what I'm trying to do. Self-fix engaged, a healing aura fired up, but the TP cost increased. Oh, okay, so I can do it at any time. Chris, Susie, why don't you help me too? Create the world of your dreams, also my dreams. It's getting faster. Susie mashes the controls trying to punch more. Susie, no, just let me go and chop you and you can have as many skateboards as you want. Oh shit. Shit. Sorry, I didn't find it. And Chris, my dearest Josie, you can have as many. Okay, I'll remember what you like. Oh shit. Remember Rousey. <laughs> oh, I got it, I think. Join me and all of you will become super strong and cool. Meanwhile, I don't need to improve because I'm already perfect and can shoot lasers from my fancy glass.
That's what I'm trying to do, man. Boom! Oh, she has one more form. Round three. Round three. I can't believe I made my point and moved to procedurally look like the one now. Oh my god. Shit, I can't heal anymore. Can I use items? Can I heal the trash machine? Yes, I can. The time for words is over. Now is the time to fight. How do I dodge that? Like, I tried to dodge, but the character won't move. 40%, damn. I might lose this. Just kidding, I told you we'll keep on looking as I kick up your face. Okay, this is my first time seeing all these attacks, so, you know. So fast. Damn. This really isn't going well. Oh, I can't attack during this. Okay, that was good. It's gonna be really close if we can make it. It's gonna be close. Punching back. Battle power dropping. Overheat activated. Listen well. You may have defeated me, but I still possess one thing you three will never have. We should be okay. Noel, darling, honey, sweetie, gravy. Oh, she's got us. Take the pin I gave you and stab the earth, creating our new supreme empire. I. What's wrong, Noel? I know it would make you happy, or should I, with the last 1% of my battery, crush Susie into 8 bits? Leave. Leave Susie alone! You think listening to you makes me happy? No! I'll never be happy, not if I'm controlled by you. Why can't you understand that? Perhaps my computations were miscalibrated. Noel, disregard me and, with your own power, choose the world that makes you happy. Oh, she actually wants what makes Noel happiest. 
And she's gone. Queen? Queen? Queen, are you okay? Seems she ran out of battery power. Guess we can seal the fountain now, right everybody? Everybody? Queen, she said, choose the world that makes you happy. I don't want to live in a world ruled by her. But if that wasn't the case, I wonder if this world wouldn't be so bad. Huh? Susie, don't you think so too? I, uh... Now that you mention it, Chris, isn't this world just better? We make so many friends here, you know? I've never had an adventure like this before. With axes and battles and magic. Where everything can be healed with a little spell. And no matter what happens, no one tells us what to do. Gosh, yeah! So even if things were really scary just now, I mean... So is there any reason not to? Not that I can think of. Me neither. Then Noel, let this be my real apology. Concentrating my will into this blade, I will make a new fountain and unleash a bright future. A future that shines for us. A future whose brightness is born from darkness. Stop! What in the world are y'all doing? Well, stop! I mean, stop! Do you realize what will happen if you do that? I will just... You'll bring the roaring. Excuse me? When, when the, the light, light is subsumed, subsumed by, by shadow. shadow. When, when the, the fountains, fountains fill the sky. The sky. All, All will fall into, into chaos. chaos. Um, the, the, the titans, titans will, will take, take form, form from, from the, the fountains. fountains and, and envelop the, the land in, in devastation. devastation. The surviving darkness crushed by the darkness will slowly, one by one, turn into statues, leaving the lightners to fend for themselves. Lost eternally in an endless night. Okay, so not good. Is that your idea of paradise? So we don't want to create more Dark World. Oh damn, I did not know that! <laughs> you didn't? But your whole plan was to... Oh, I'm just a computer, Emma! I don't know everything! I was just guessing based off the night's actions. Why the heck? Hell, but I want to end the world! Well, that's a relief. Um, um, I'm sorry, I... After everything, I just caused trouble for you again, Noel. That's okay, apparently I understand. I thought about it while charging my battery. You cannot calculate other people's feelings. You you understand how I feel. <laughs> Not really, I just don't want Noel to be sad. <laughs> well, I'm glad you two kind of get it now. Guess we all made a pretty sweet team in the end. Yeah, I have to work on your laugh. No, we freaking did it! Can you let go of us now? Oh, yeah! Susie! Hey, you stood up to Queen not half bad. Really? Uh, yeah. She's got the anime pose with the arm. Guess you gotta wake up soon, huh? Huh? Everything got so intense, I forgot it was a dream. Then, I just hope I get to have more dreams like this. Hey, Noel, when you wake up, um. Well, I just wanted to say, uh. Here she comes. Well, then I suppose it is. Well, then I suppose it is time for you all to exit. Running program, tender goodbye to the exit. I will miss each of you. Noel, your unneeded honesty. 
Susie, you're foolish bravery. Chris, you're chill vibes. Burnley? It doesn't have to be goodbye, Queen. Chris can take you back to our castle town. You and all our recruits can live there. Oh. <laughs> Cancelled. Deleting tender goodbye, X. Alright, time to do what we came here for. Hey, Noel. If you see the real Susie, just, just know that maybe she's... Look, she doesn't have a tail, okay? Doesn't she? Uh, okay, I got it. It's not a secret. Let's just go, Chris. <laughs> uh, it's... Oh, okay. All's wet and ends well until something fucking creepy happens. <laughs> Chris, it looks like we're here again, huh? The roaring night, whatever they are. They're making these fountains. But is that really a bad thing? Since this started showing up, everything's gotten a lot more interesting, hasn't it? Well, we don't have to think about that now. Chris, it's your turn. It was as if your very soul was glowing. And we're back in the computer lab. Huh? What? What happened? Oh, it was a dream, wasn't it? Huh? A dream? That was all a dream? Uh, of course, that must have been a dream. Such feelings, such thoughts. <laughs> oh, sweet lady of justice. To think I would ever think Susie would be... A gamer. And right before the end, Picaro's gotta show up because he wants to show up in every video. Susie? Susie, what are you doing here? Uh... You invited us to study, remember? Oh, right, I, uh... <laughs> what? Studying with them? Noel, heavens to yikes, they're... they're... Well, I guess we could try it? Uh, my... my alarm? Uh, I'm going to be late for my shift with Mrs. Boom. Oh no, how is it that late already? Well, adieu everyone, I must gather my book longings. Uh, how I love the texture of freshly picked up books. Now let us hasten, my dear Noel. Good day, Chris. Susie. Bye, Chris. And, uh, bye, Susie. Um, see ya. What? What? Are you looking for something? <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so scary. <laughs> Nothing, bye! The heck is her problem, anyway? Way to treat someone who just saved the world. Chris! Hey, wait a sec, Chris. We... We just actually saved the world, didn't we? Y'all forgot Lancer! Damn, we really are heroes. And no one even knows. Guess it's better that way though, right? People freak out if they knew the world's in danger. Though, it kinda sucks Noel has to forget too. I mean, you're the one who told her it was a dream, you didn't have to do that. Whatever, let's get out of here. Oh boy. It's a trash can, you get the feeling it doesn't have any friends. It's hard to explain why you feel this way about a trash can. Sure is. The closet is spacious and full of old electronics. A large person could easily fit inside. Don't say that, that's fucking creepy. 
You suddenly thought about how your day might have been different if the poster with that orange cat was still on the wall. Orange cat? Garfield? <laughs> it's full of many backup devices like extra mice, extra keyboards, or extra maracas. <gasps> maracas! 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 Is Queen a good guy now? I hope so. She's a really fun character. Looks like the library's state-of-the-art public laptop. Someone left it on. Before you left, you gathered up everything in the room. Yeah, all this stuff. There's a book here. You lick the page. It's delicious! This must be what they meant by flavor things. It's someone's diary. Read it? Yes. Oh no, someone else has been taking out my diary. Oh no, they're printing a review in the paper. Oh no, I'm being highly acclaimed. Lord of the Hammer. First in the award-winning fiction series by lauded historian Gerson Boom. It's a book of magic tricks. Most of them require orbs or floating hands. It's the weekly cartoon review. Just looking at cartoon criticism is sapping your energy rapidly. <laughs> Uh Toby just gets it. He gets so many things. I love reading books. Especially the books upstairs. It's book one about souls. Read it. The soul has long been called many things. The font of our compassion. The source of our will. The container of our life force. But even now, the true function of it is unknown. How to care for a human. It's a book for monsters on how to care for humans. According to the card in the back, looks like your mother took it out repeatedly many years ago. There are photos of unfamiliar humans inside. You shut the book quickly. Man, it got late, didn't it? Guess you should go home, huh? Alright, you don't have to say it. Don't want to walk home by yourself, huh? Well, if you're gonna make me, I guess. Let's go. Do I have to go and put the stuff back? It's Tem! Tem still study! Study hard! Tem get a smart! Go to college! Achieve dream! Then Tem become... Tem become... <laughs> As if you could even envision it. Oh, are all the people gonna be there now? Oh, there she is. It's like, what the fuck is this place? So this is your castle town? It's... Not bad. Chris, Susie, on behalf of everyone I oppressed, thank you. I am going to be your wacky roommate now. That's all I ever wanted. Just want wacky roommates. Oh, Rousey's here. Chris, I bet you have a lot of people to talk to, but you don't have to do everything at once. Save and take a break anytime you want, okay? Okay, that's a weird thing to say. Thanks a lot for the lovely city. It's nearly as good as the one I made in Minecraft. <laughs> Is Lancer okay? That's what I want to know. Oh, there he is. What a terrific boy's adventure! Time to kick off my feet and relax. Oh my lord, does I, your humblest servant, right here where I never left it? I'm a worm, I don't understand taxes and values. Who did this to my mannequin? As your prince, I demand someone fix this. Um, is, is anybody listening? I was listening! Don't yell that from across town! Hey, Lancer. Hi, Susie. If Noelle was here, she'd probably dress it up like a Christmas tree. Huh? Why am I thinking that, anyway? Looks like it costs money just to have a free sample. 
This place is a great deal. All kinds of new customers. Want a free sample? Just four ninety nine to try a bite of these clothes. Let's go see the music boys. Welcome to the music room. We don't sell anything. Just play music. Oh, it's all the songs. So many good songs. I love Lancer's thing. It's pronounced rules. Okay, well, rules car. I guess I'll keep this for now. Good song. Nice town, Chief. I think we're gonna like it here. Cool city. As thanks, you can listen to all sorts of songs here. Don't think it'll be cheap, though. It's free. What? Thanks, guys. I wonder if she'll be back. Hey, boss, we're just reminiscing about fighting you. Haha, <laughs> that's right. They took so long on their turn. What? A horned girl? I never got to see her. A horned girl. Thanks for getting rid of Queen. Yeah, this form is much cooler, so I'm keeping it. <laughs> Alrighty then. Hey, boss, boss! Heh, <laughs> I'm so glad to have a nice boss, I could shed a tear. But I won't! I'm on the job! I'll cry at home, with the kids! <laughs> boss, you're strong, but there's always time to learn. The next step after tutorials is training! So, me and the boys got you together at Dojo. Complete our battle challenges and get some fabulous prizes. Meanwhile, you might get a little bit tougher. We're gonna make you the strongest, boss. Young masters, thank you for such a wide space to clean. The people here have such clean hearts as well. Sukiri. It's nice to make friends that like good clean fun. Sukiri. And all these people. Good evening, boss. Today's meal is crisped. That's a color code. It's this color. It's been deep fried with the finest JPEG artifacting. I hope it suits your palette. Uh, palate. It's a color joke. Good evening, boss. We found a strange hooligan trying to turn the cafe into a second bakery. He was spinning and crying as my men carried him out. We do not predict any further difficulties. Now please, you've worked hard, boss. Relax and enjoy yourself. Recommendation. For the young prince, we recommend the vanilla green tea. There's not much to go off besides your color. For the young human, we recommend a chocolate blueberry latte. Boss, please try not to use all of the sugar. So this just shows you all the enemies you recruit. New wave synth pop. This match sucks. Oh, and I can place them to talk to them? Oh, okay, so that's what this whole thing was. Is that Kirby? Kirby with a wig? With this windfall, I've ceased to be spherical. Newbert, you're one of a kind. Newbert's had a wild ride, time to settle down. Give my riches to the weak. Oh boy, oh boy, I'm trashy, haha. <laughs> How about I'm gonna make a lot of new friends? Oh, <laughs> who is this guy? He's scary. <laughs> How about a strawberry cake as a room warming gift? There's a slice of cake in your fridge, Susie. <laughs> But it's not cauldron fresh. Oh no, this thing's here now. This maybe isn't the best thing in your room. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Jealous of my cool statue, Chris? Huh? What? No, it's not me, it's just cool. It's clearly you. Oh my god, these two fuckers. Susie, Chris, Toothpaste Boy. Queen is teaching me all sorts of things about being a bad guy. She's like, how do I put this? A third father to me. A girl dad, if you will. You mean a mom? Go outside and play, Peach Boy. Peach Boy, Peach Boy. Welcome, this entire castle is not my room. Um, I was going to set up something upstairs. Why, well, I already have everything I could ever want. Friendship, fans, in a small room, boy. Now go and play with your friends, Peach Boy. Chris, do give the will my regards. 
Any leftover regards you can give to Birdly? I keep ending up in this situation. Can't say I'm a fan. Or can I? <laughs> <laughs> what about Lancer's dad? He's still here. You may have bested me, but you'll soon face someone more fearsome, more tyrannical than you could ever imagine. Queen, we already met her. What? Well, nice time, Mr. Will. So you too have come to humiliate me? No, I am serious, it's cool. That water bottle, however... Do not speak ill of the royal water bottle. It's nothing compared to the one at my mansion. Hmm. Materialistic as always. Materialism evaluation denied. I simply give myself the treatment I deserve. You slept curled up on a dirty trail every day. Enough, wench. What purpose have you here, Queen Bean? Just thought I would send a message, Kingy Kink, Kingy Wingy, that you don't have to worry about Lancer. I will be looking after him from now on. After all, I am his mother. When was that decided? Arbitrarily right now. Hmm. Do what you please with the boy. But if he cries, bounce him on the ground like a ball. I think it is time to abort this conversation. As you wish. Oh, quite sorry, mine king. Queen A hath a new man about town now. Who? Yeah, who? Uh, I think I left my puzzle on. Post haste. Who was that, bro? <sighs> that was my son's lesser father. Can it calculate someone less than you? Be gone! Bye bye, Kingy Wingy! By the way, did you want anything from the store? Cashews. Order processed. <laughs> Wacky villains. Well, he's enjoying his little water bottle at least. Welcome, travelers. There are many fresh faces in town, I see. It warms this old fluff to see such hope. I was even surprised to see the queen again. Same as ever, well, aren't we all? So are the king and queen really actually related? Like, or are they... I can't make sense of the lore in this game. It's like, is the dark, are, are the dark worlds connected or... Oh, he's waving us goodbye. Is Undyne still around? Hospital. Here to make an appointment? <laughs> nah, just here to hang out. I see. Whoa, Chris, you can play the piano? Haha, <laughs> almost thought you were serious for a sec. What's with that pissed off look? Should I pencil you in for hanging out? Yes, please. The beads of the toy march on. Oh, no else here. Silver Drake, I've never beaten this boss before. <laughs> Alright, end it over, honey, I got this. No, Dad, this is my battle. So, um, how about just telling me what to do? Ah, uh, sure, how about trying Fire Shock? I'd love to, Dad, but the mage left the party. Oh, yeah, how about one of your 99 Blaze Potions? Um, I'm saving those? Or what, your birthday? Come on, live a little. Okay, Dad, this one's for you. Yeah! It reflects fire attacks. Haha, <laughs> whoops, hey, you gotta heal. I wish I knew healing magic in real life. Then it'd make you better and it wouldn't just be me and mom. Your mother is... Hey, it's okay, sweetheart. I'm getting better. Might even be able to go to church tomorrow. Really? Are you sure you're okay? Holidays happen whether you like it or not. Even though everyone likes holidays. Well, gotta go home soon or mom will call. See you tomorrow, honey. Bye, Dad. Love you. <gasps> Susie, why are you here? Hell if I know. <laughs> Sorry, guys. This game's only one player. Um, Dad, this is, um, Susie. Oh, this is Susie. Susie, nice. Heard a lot about you. <laughs> you, uh, have? 
Cool, think I have to go now. Susie, huh? <laughs> yeah. Lay a finger on her and I'll kick your ass. Huh? <laughs> Just kidding. Well, kind of kidding. Eh, seems like I need some more tests. So just gotta wait it out. You can't keep me down for too long, baby. Sooner or later, I'm busting out of here. Size, your dad ain't much without his main man. Oh yeah. What is it, Christmas? Look, Chris, you can't say much, but Noelle might look like she has it all. But her mother, her mother, you know? Love her, but she's tough on her. Normally I balance it out, but I can't do much when I'm not there. But I'm gonna get better. I have to. Hey, Chris, she's a nice girl, huh? The hell are you taking her here for? Why don't you take her to the movies? Hey, yeah, the hell didn't we go to the movies, Chris? Yeah, and take me too while you're at it. Yeah, Chris, come on. Kettle corn, Chris, big, don't skimp out. Oh, the hell is bringing you flowers? Hey, what's wrong with a married man getting flowers? So your uh, wife gave them to you? Nah, <laughs> I'm messing with you. Chris's dad did. I'm gonna try to understand this. Police. Uh oh. Alf is hell if I'm going any further. Already close enough to getting banned from school. Don't want to be banned from outside of school too. That's a thing, right? Hi, Chris. <laughs> getting your project done? <laughs> oh, my bike. It's a uh, uh, totaled. I um, I had a little crash. Uh. You see, there was this police officer and a... <laughs> it's complicated, how are you doing? Complain about police? Chris, it's no secret, the uh, police in this town are... Uh, how do I put this? Just, um... Eye candy, I guess. Wait, that came out wrong. I mean, they're symbolic, they barely do anything. It's because of the mayor, there... There... There isn't any crime. Makes me wonder if she even needs the police. Or if they're just getting in her way? Eh, sorry, I'm just saying what you already know. After all, she's your neighbor, right? Who? Who are they talking about? Like, Noelle said she was Chris's neighbor, and they're talking about like her mom's scary or something? So is Noelle's mom the mayor? Chris, did you need something? Oh, how's your project going with uh, Susie? What? You went to the library together? With Noelle and Birdly? That's amazing, Chris. And um, while you were there, this has nothing to do with me, but the Teen Zone seems to have some good anime reviews, you know? I'm not sure if you and the gang were checking that out as you studied. <laughs> Next time you go, you might want to casually bring that up among your fellow teens. I know your dad liked me and me too, at least. Again, nothing to do with me. It's a beaten bike. The horn looks like it might give a honk of despair. Is Undyne here? Yes! Are all these dogs there? There's a key. Hey! Get out of the road! Uh, sorry. Bad habit. Anything I can help you with, punk? Huh? A super dangerous alternate world in the library? More are appearing? People might fall inside? <laughs> Listen, punk! <laughs> you seriously think I'm gonna believe that? <laughs> Dark world? Uh, seriously? <laughs> uh oh. Hey, wait! Ah, not again! Looks like I gotta go recapture those criminals. Hey, by the way, that yellow glasses lady. Is she your teacher? She kinda had an accident earlier with her uh, bike. Just wanted to make sure she has she was feeling better. So uh give her this. You got a heart-shaped box of candies that says get well soon. It has to your bike hastily scrawled underneath the get well soon. Look, get well soon's all the store had. Open it and I'll arrest you. Look, I'll even put a note on it. Now stop interrupting me, I gotta go. You got the previously described box of candy with a note on it. box of hearts candy it's not yours would that stop you yeah it will 
I would never disobey Undyne. He skimmed the news article about Undyne. New police chief Undyne's explosive debut. Passionate young rookie becomes the new police chief. Though energetic, it may be hard to live up to the legacy. After Asgore Dreamer was removed from the force. Oh, he was a police? There's no need to read anymore. Oh, jailbreak. I'll sound the alarm. I made the jailbreak alarm my mixtape. It's a nice beat to study or relax to while you escape from prison. Here, this is for you. Do you have something for me? Uh, Chris, what is that you're giving me? A, a box of heart-shaped chocolates? Whoa, no, I, I can't accept that from you. What? It's from the police? You mean she's giving me this? Um, get well soon, gift to my bike? And um, there's a note on this that says, open this and I'll arrest you, you little punk. Chris, I tell her I uh, appreciate it. Is Sans here? Hey, what's up? Brother? What are you talking about? I don't have a brother. <laughs> Just messing with you. I totally do. Though, to be honest, I never mentioned him to you, did I? I'm not gonna lie. A little weird you ask. I never let my brother hang out with a stranger. Especially not alone or in my house. That's way too irresponsible. Try to have some self-awareness, okay? Meanwhile, I'll ask what his schedule is. What's going on over here? There is frozen bagels and treats. Hey Chris, wanna see if we can fit inside? You just crashed down under the waffles. Damn, think someone's looking. Hey, forget something? Why, uh, yes, I think I left my eggs on the counter. Guess your memory's not what it's cracked up to be. <laughs> There is really egg on my face now, isn't there, not? <laughs> You're excused. Now it sounds as if you are egging me on. Egg on or egg off, I expect a lot from you. Well, I am exceptional. <laughs> and don't forget me, your egg's husband. <laughs> Sam just turns around and is like, I'm not dealing with this. Uh, hello, Asgore. Tori, I didn't expect to see you here, but I... I have some extra flowers and I was wondering if... Oh, I was just about to go, actually. Ah, uh, haha, oh, sure, home is where the heart is, haha. <laughs> um, so when Azrael comes home... Yes, we should all discuss that together soon. Donkey Donkey, say hi to Chris for me. Of course, have a nice day. You know what I want, Bone Man? Yep. Free pickles. Why, thank you. Can I ask, what kind of flowers do you think would make her remember how she felt before? Uh, maybe you should talk to your plants about that. <laughs> Don't worry, they're the first ones I asked. They're such good listeners, you know, flowers. Is Flowey in this universe? Well, yeah, nothing like a captive audience. Yes, ha, huh? I even keep them in glass. Huh, like that movie. Yes, it's, it's very similar to that movie. Well, have a good one. Huh, <laughs> I'm trying. Hey, Chris, uh, uh, never mind. There's a lot of weird shit that they're not telling us, I feel. Asgore and Toriel are in like a similar situation where they're like separated. And Toriel is friends with Sans in this world also. Hmm. Yeah, I'm in the sicko that looks at all the mills to find the best expiration date. You got something about it? Can your family not come in here when I'm looking at milk? 
I see his pizza pinups manga magazine. Hot and fresh cheese pepperoni, just like in your dreams. Loose eggs, one dollar. It's too much responsibility for an egg. It looks like a normal basket of fruit, but when you reach in, it's incredibly deep and holds all sorts of things. It looks like a normal palm tree, but it's chock full of useful groceries. Grapes, melons, oranges, and the scent of fresh pineapples. Apples and grapes. Sometimes the hoofed girl comes here, opens the freezer door, then stands in front of it, lost in thought. Guess she really likes the cold, or waffles. Talking about Noel. It's a bunch of cards and heart-shaped chocolates. Get well soon, I'm glad your bike crashed. <laughs> there's, there are some car magazines on the racks. It might be fun to look at them, but there's other people around. <laughs> How embarrassing! I would never be caught looking at fucking car magazine. That stuff, it's used half off. <laughs> what is it? Trash. You can't reach the top, rendering it impossible to get a basket. You'll never be able to buy something in this state. It's a rack of candy, jerky, and various nuts. <laughs> See? Jerky is candy, and uh, peanuts too. Actually, they're a legume. <laughs> Peanuts? Jerky. Hey, what's up? Hey, you the bus around here? Me? I'm just the janitor. Then where's the cashier? Cashier? We don't have one. Then who do we buy stuff from? Me? Then that makes you the cashier. Nope, I'm the janitor. I'm just filling in. Are there any other employees? Nope. Then why don't you hire someone else? Whoa, you think I can afford that on a janitor's salary? Hey, welcome to the convenience store. You want to buy something? Put it in a basket and bring it here. In case you didn't know what a store was. Sorry kid, the brother thing is gonna have to wait. How long? Maybe a day. Maybe another two years. Because in the game it takes one day, but in real life it takes two years. Who's keeping track at this point? Toby, you can't keep getting away with this. Fucking Sans. Sans the Skeleton. Alright, I think I've seen... I think I've seen everything, talked to everyone. If I cut some dialogues out, it's because they were just not interesting. <laughs> oh god, there's a bunch more! It's an ornate gate, it appears to be locked. It's a froggit! Ribbit, ribbit! I sometimes hear beautiful singing from that house over there. How eerie, could it be a ghost? Could actually. That would make sense, a ghost lives there. <laughs> My brother is too old to take for a walk anymore. Hmm. I'm aimless. Wish I had someone to whip me into shape. See, a lot of these are written like it takes place after Undertale. What? 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 If you're looking for Blueki, they aren't here. Unless you're looking for someone else? Look Wait, could this be Metaton? Me? 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 What have I got to say to you? Nothing! Like I'd even recognize a pathetic face like- Oh, it's probably the... The... The mannequin? It's probably the little mannequin guy. Cause that was a ghost too. By the way, say hi to your dad for me. Wait, wait! Don't do that! He doesn't know I- Nothing! Someone else? Fine, fine, fine! Wanna talk to someone else? Here! Oh my, someone's here to see me? It's you again, is it, darling? Oh my, why do you keep coming to our door? Are you a fan of mine? Oh, that's Metaton. Ha, <laughs> as if someone could be a fan of a nobody like me. Well, if you are a fan, ha, <laughs> could I bother you for a favor? Since the internet went down, I haven't had much entertainment. If you have anything entertaining, darling, could you bring it by to me tomorrow? It would mean the world to me, thank you. 
Oh, okay, a little side quest for later, I guess. Then leave, leave, leave! Okay. Flower King. That's Asgore's. Oh, it's his shop, and I think he also lived here. I wanted to buy flowers, but the store's closed. The door around back's unlocked, but I don't think I should go in. Ooh. It's your dad's truck. The floor of the front seat is littered with old papers and country and country seed. There's a door behind the flower shop, but there's flowers blocking the way. Are they yellow flowers by any chance? Is this a flowy situation again? I have because like almost all the other characters have made an appearance, I have to imagine that Flowey is gonna show up in Delta Room. Which is worrying. <laughs> Computer lab, please surf the web responsibly. In fact, maybe don't do it at all. That's what we should do. Oh god, there's so much going on down there. Um, hey, that's my trash from other people's houses. Like, privacy much? God, living with Azzy made you weird. Um, hey, that's... <laughs> like, little Chrissy, you hear? That, uh, guy at the pizza place? God, what was his name? Pizza Pants? Heard he got, like, a super hot girlfriend. What was your name? Like, uh... <laughs> Pizzerina? <laughs> Anyway, what did you like when I talk? So, in this world, Burger Pants is Pizza Pants? It's hard to imagine him with a hot girlfriend, but hey. Oh my god, it's like so sweet you have a nasty, dirty little friend. But like, this is my polluted hell away, so like, I think I might have to go to the mayor and get a traffic sign that says like, no plus ones, because like, okay. I'm a real alligator, aren't I? Chrissy, like, guess what? Today I, like, went to the beach to play my uke and, like, guess who's already there? That copycat playing the same song I wanted to play. Oh my god, cat on the beach, grody. Did she, like, get lost looking for the litter box? <laughs> so, like, I tried to, like, play the same song too. To, you know, assert my ukulele dominance. And we end up, ugh, get this playing the whole song together. Like, oh my god, who does this girl think she is? She thinks she can just, like, harmonize with me? <laughs> I can't stand her. Is that Caddy? So, Caddy and Braddy don't know each other in this version of the world? Oh, like, you, like, just, like, like Allie's? Oh my god, like, me too, I love Allie's, like, don't even think you can like them as much as me. Hey Chris, this free milk, it's amazing. It just magically refreshes itself overnight. Ooh, is that a human? If humans are made of bones, where does skeletons come from? Knock, knock, knock. Faintly, faintly, a trussle growing further away. Is this Papyrus's house? Is that a bone trussle I hear? I think I talked to everyone here. A very small obligatory piano is inside. It's a regular sink. It's a clone of the other sink. Perhaps there was originally one tall sink that was cut in half to create both of them. <laughs> it's a classic 1 to 10 pain scale using IC as a model. At 0 pain, he's happy. At 10 pain, he's happy and sweating. Looks like she's resting her voice. So why do you collect tre creepy dolls? Hey, Noelle and her sister made that respected. <laughs> Noelle's sister? Hmm. Photos of Chief Undyne and Deputy Napstabluk. Undyne is rescuing all of Caddy's family from a tree. <laughs> Napstabluk is also stuck in a tree somehow. Can I 
I'm going to jail because that's where I fucking belong. What's all these sounds? You think it's true? You really think there's... What, you chicken? <laughs> you get a beak and wings? Like a chicken? No, just... I ain't afraid. Only kids believe that stuff. But Chris... You gonna be a weenie like Chris? You wanna say that again? Monster kids got like a cross necklace. <laughs> Susie didn't see you there. Wow, really something scary in there, huh? Uh... Sounds to me like you'd better worry. About what's out here first. Ah! You okay, Chris? What's the deal with this place? Well, you don't gotta talk about it. Talk about it. It's locked. That's... What the fuck is in there? That's creepy as hell. This whole fucking game is so goofy and like funny and like... But it's so creepy too. Toby's so good at making shit creepy. Ah, Chris, your brother. He is a very kind young man. Perhaps even a little overzealous in his younger days. He would visit me often to confess to various sins. Despite the absence of sin or confession in our religion, I remember his small face sobbing as he admitted he had dropped the lizard in the pit to jump high. Nearly omitting the fact that he had done so in video games. <laughs> Drop the lizard to jump high? Like dropping Yo Yoshi and Mario to jump higher? He also confessed to various sins on your behalf begging for your forgiveness for dropping the lizard on purpose. I would always forgive him and send him home. There's some weird shit going on between Azriel and Chris. Crystal, a snowy gemstone for a proud mother. Muttler, a big bone for the leader of the pack. So uh, this is your idea of hanging out, Chris? Going to the graveyard? Works for me, I guess. You're not gonna tell me whose tombstone this is? It's either like a, a microphone or like a magnifying lens? Hmm. You heard Alvin mumbling to himself as you walked away. Were you proud of me, father? And is it right for this hammer to... To what? Weird shit going on in this town. It's the two guards, and they're a couple, maybe? Nothing like admiring the great paint job me and my bro did on our church. Missed a spot. Having a wide open space is great for us kids. Sometimes it's good to get your freak out. We tried to play baseball, but that kid kept dancing in the middle of the lot. I don't feel like there's any way to stop him. And sometimes it's bad to get your freak out. If I can stop him, should I join him? No. No. Town Hall. Well, well, if it isn't the teens, our beloved rats of the city. You wanna get into politics? <laughs> you better graduate from diaper school first. That's what I did. Look at me now. I don't even work here. <laughs> this briefcase is full of diapers. Or, to the pros, diaps. You're gonna have to level up to understand a man's world. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, you're looking for the mayor. She's very, very busy preparing for the festival. 
That bald guy keeps trying to show me something from his briefcase. Is it a bribe? I'm really deep into politics now. I just want to go home, but I'm still stuck in a traffic jam. Even though it's only one other person. That's the trouble with cars. If you want to do donuts, you have to be prepared for jam. This is a great parking place. I can see myself settling down here. Home is where the car is. Here at Icy's Pizza, your family is going to love it. Icy's Pizza, your number one spot for a piping hot. Is there something more annoying than this fucking your u apostrophe r e? I can't, cannot stand this shit. I feel like this guy would make the thwomp sound. <laughs> It's a soda dispensing machine. Inspect? You took a look at the flavors. Water, ice, double ice, bread, flaming hot cheese soda, gamer blood energy drink, juice red flavor. Wow, my coworker seems so energetic lately. I don't know what's happened, but seeing him happy makes me happy too. Oh, a customer, would you like a blue soft serve? Why does it look like this bread's bleeding? I guess that's pizza sauce? Look, it's former burger pants, now pizza pants. Little buddy, you aren't gonna believe this. I've got a girlfriend, Azriel. You've got to tell Azriel right now. He's gonna be so proud of me. Huh? What's she look like? Ha, <laughs> little buddy, how do I put it? I don't actually know, I haven't met her in real life. But from the way she texts, God, little buddy, she must be stacked. <laughs> lie and say you want to hear more? That's not a lie, I want to hear more. So far, she's the perfect girl, little buddy. She loves pizza. And bikinis. And to top it off, she sent me a picture of herself wearing a pizza bikini. Little buddy, perhaps it isn't cow, but... Look! Look at this! God damn! It's several pixels that vaguely resemble a zoomed-in JPEG of a pepperoni pizza. Yes, I know what you're thinking, little buddy. Her camera is not of the highest caliber. But to a scholarly man of the world like myself, this is what love looks like, little buddy. Good for burger pants. That's right, we don't need to say any more. Go ahead and tell Azriel right now. Try our new chocolate pizza. Melts in your pants, not in your mouth. What's up with you? The pizza sauce is boiling red, burbling, burning like my blood yearns for battle. Ah! I, the warrior, shall show it the wizard's fist. Sure are some characters in this game. <laughs> Chris, go in by yourself. Oh, there's Caddy. Just ignore them. I know. They're embarrassing. Why are they even here? Because they care your... F oh, that's her family. Because uh, they care? Then they can care. Somewhere else. What? She's all like emo in this version. She's not yet like the valley girl that she was in Undertale. What about Noelle? Golden hair, starry eyes. She's the light, laughing in the night. Taught her protection spells. Showed her occult findings. But lately, she slips into the darkness. Chris. You walk among the dark, protect her from Susie. I'm talking about Susie. Wait, do you want me to protect Susie? Or do you want me to protect Noelle from Susie? Because neither one's necessary, I don't think. Jockington, pure boy, heart of gold, curiosity high, intelligence low, <laughs> fetches frisbees, 
dress him up, carry in a bag, precious boy. Don't know why. Dad, mom, sister, ukulele, football games, soap operas, yelling, standing on tables, afraid of vacuums, stupid, loud, very loud. Chris, you and I studied occult together. Incantation for silence. Find it, tell me. To tell you the truth, I thought this was the post office, but by the time I realized, I'd already sat down. I'm not hungry, so I've just been telling the waitress I'm still deciding for a few hours now. How am I supposed to get out of this one? Our little caddy, she's doing us proud. Working hard, supporting us, serving us pickles, terrifying us with her shape, trying to get us to leave. Proud of her. <laughs> Woo, Caddy, you go, girl! Show those customers who's boss, little lady! Kick their touche! Woo, beat them down, you got this! Oh, I get it, she's the waitress. I didn't even notice. <laughs> they just come to the fucking restaurant to encourage her. Rave reviews and autographs from various normal townspeople. Caddy's family is always asking when her next shift is, so they can come in and cheer her on. Never seen anything like it, but it's kind of nice, isn't it? How are you doing, hun? What? Sorry, I couldn't hear you over the noise. What noise? I don't know if you noticed, but I've been getting stronger. You could say I'm bulking up for the winter. Oh boy, I love bulking. This guy next to me, he's really bulked up. I admire that. I don't know if you do that, bulking up for the winter. Oh my god, my little sis is so cute in her outfit. Chrissy, like, listen to the song I made about her. Caddy's the best, Caddy's the best. She curses me every day, glares because I'm in her way. Caddy's the best sister ever. <laughs> anyway, what's up, Chrissy? Wait, so the one on the left is Caddy, what, right? From Undertale. The one on the right isn't, but she acts like her. Oh my god, Chrissy, you're not gonna believe this! I was at the beach playing ukulele, right? And, like, that green alligator evil neighbor girl, like, invaded and started, like, playing my song with me. Oh my god. Like, it was so fun. <laughs> Wait, isn't she, like, my enemy? So is that Caddy? I'm confused now. What's up, Chris? Wow, Chrissy, you're, like, in a rush, huh? Okay, don't get stuck in a tree. <laughs> It's Jackin Jockington. Caddies, my friend, and I support my friends through thick and thin, long and short, cold and hot. Whatever shape the world takes, I'll be there. Life is a big ball game, and when the man is on the field, he does a big dunk. Try to be that dunk. Alrighty. Now let's just uh, finish this. And hopefully nothing super creepy happens. Is Susie coming home with me? Chris, you going home? I guess. Alright. Then guess it's goodbye for today. See you tomorrow, Chris. You don't want to give me a hug or something? Chris, how about studying with your... Why, Chris, is that your friend? Why don't you invite her inside? Uh, I mean, I, uh... Chris, I should, um, probably get going and, uh... I was going to bake a pie, did you want any? Guess I can come over for a bit. Come on, Susie, come to my place, we'll play Super Smash Brothers. Feel free to come in. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I am Chris's mother, Toriel. Yes, ma'am, I remember. Oh, you do? And you are Susie, are you not? Huh? You, um, remember my name too? Of course! Mrs. Alphys is a good friend of mine. She often talks about you. Um, glad to hear it. Chris, the hell is Alphys saying about me? Susie, why don't you wash your hands over there? Then we can make the pie together. Make it together? Uh, but I don't know how to, uh... Do not worry, I can teach you. Okay. <laughs> the fuck walk cycle is that? Chris, Susie seems like a nice girl. I'm very happy you are friends with her, but... 
but... Chris, I heard from Alphys about her behavior. If by any chance she uh, influences you, uh, leave the chalk alone, alright? You just don't want me to eat any chalk. <laughs> Hands uh, washed. Wonderful, now we can... Oh, Chris, how about you show Susie how to bake it? Chris, you know how to make pie? The hell haven't you made me any of them, dumbass? That's a lot of punches on my shoulder. You pie hoarding piece of... I mean, uh, excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> they started this game making Susie out to be this, like, bully, really rude and shit, but she's such a nice girl. Like, as soon as she's in front of my mother, she's like, oh, hello, ma'am. Like, very nice to meet you. Susie, you can just call me Toriel outside of school. Oh, okay, sweet. Huh, Chris? Oh, you need to wash your hands too? Then I suppose I shall teach Susie for now. Susie and I will start getting ready to make the pie. Uh, we will? Wait. <laughs> All right. The hell are you leaving me here with your mom? Is this like a, what's it called, an introvert thing? Something's gonna happen. Hey, what are those metal people shapes in the cupboard? Like uh, handcuffs for a little guy's whole body? Haha, <laughs> those are for gingerbread, Susie. Gingerbread men and gingerbread monsters, of course. Gingerbread monsters, huh? Cool. Mm -mm. She's sneaking sugar right out of the bag. Susie? What? My pie, my rules. Got it. Chris, no sneaking ingredients until you wash your hands. Don't worry, Chris. I'll sneak stuff instead. Gingerbread. Sounds like something Noel would like. Hmm? Noel? Uh, nothing. Chris, this is not the time to sneak some chocolates. Chris, get me some at least. It's the bathroom sink. Will you run the tap? Yes. Start to run. It's making a lot of noise. Don't do it. Gonna jump out the window or something? The fuck was that? Well, let us get the flower. <laughs> So that's this bag and you just... Oops! Hee <laughs> Susie, you have flour on your nose. Uh, I meant to do that. Thought you would stop to smell the flour, hey? <laughs> Achoo! Come on! Now on to the next part! So, where the... <laughs> where the heck is Chris? Oh, Chris uh, does this sometimes. Well, they should hurry, I'm getting sleepy. Do you know what they call a sleeping Susie? Huh? What? They would call her a snoozy. Uh, <laughs> then, then I guess you'd be a snoriel. <laughs> snoriel. Snoozy and snoriel. <laughs> you really like that one, huh? Wasn't it funny? All right, where the hell is Chris? <laughs> Toriel. The pie is nearly done. Oh, the sugar. Wait here a moment. I left it in the car. Okay.
This creepy ass kid. The fuck was he doing outside? This is making me very uncomfortable. And I'm back in control now. Hey Chris, hurry up next time. We're already almost done. So what's next? Oh, uh, the pie. We already worked quite hard, have we not? How about we finish it later? Uh, okay. Then, uh, guess I'll walk home? Oh, no, no, there's no need to do that. Oh, actually, Susie, would you like to stay over? Huh? I mean, um, if it's okay, then... Here, look at this! Our couch is used to being used as a bed. It's not perfect, but we could all sleep out here. That sounds good to me, yeah! Splendid! I will make sure everything is in order. Just call your parents, will you not? Yeah, of course. So what the hell, a sleepover? Damn, I haven't had one of those in forever. <laughs> well, she seems happy about it. Hey Chris, it's not like someone has to tell you to sit, right? There, chill out for a sec. So now what? I got it. Maybe between the pillows here? There, knew I'd find the remote in here. You can always find good stuff wedged in the couch. Jeez, it's dusty. When did you last use this thing? Well, who cares? Let's just watch TV. So what are we gonna marathon tonight? Blood Crushers 3? Hellbusters? Invasion of the Cat Petters? Maybe I see the movies more your speed, huh, Chris? <laughs> it's been a good day, huh, Chris? You, Rousey, Lancer, everyone. It's just cool hanging out together, right? That's why, you know, don't you think we should try to have them come to our world? Come on, think about how much better it would be. But we can't, right? Because in the dark world, they're like people, but then in the real world, they're just like game pieces and like cards and stuff like that. Rousey could do our homework. Lancer could live under your bed. We could all walk to school together. It'd be perfect, you know? I mean, we'd be unstoppable is what I'm saying. I mean, it does seem a little far-fetched, but let's do it. Yeah, that's the attitude. Uh, what if Rousey became a teacher's pet though? Or not if, just feels like a matter of time, honestly. Well, whatever. As long as he brings me an apple, too. What? Apple shampoo? No, I didn't drink any of that. Well, whatever. Let's just get back to watching. What the fuck did Chris do? Did he slash his mom's tires or something? So the festival is coming up, right? The thing where the town becomes a carnival? I'm guessing that's maybe chapter 3? Stupid, right? But say you had to uh, take someone, Noel or Rousey. I'm guessing this is a romantic thing, and I'm, I'm guessing Susie would want to go with Noel, but hmm. I kind of just want to say you. <laughs> huh? Way to dodge the question, dumbass. I mean, if I went, obviously you'd be there too. That goes without saying, right? Look. Let's just go back to watching TV. <laughs> they're such close friends already, and it's only been like two days together, and they're already like best friends. Now this is what I'm talking about. Giant monster movie special. Always like them better than the giant human movies. Now this is something we can marathon. Are you ready, Chris? For 12 hours of building bashing, car crunching action? Because we are locked in, got it? I better not see you move until your eyes are bloodshot. 
<laughs> now let me just uh, get comfortable here and there. All right, sounds like a night. Oh my god, just gonna fall asleep straight away. Is that supposed to be her snoring? Susie fell asleep. I'm gonna do something weird again. Or is Chris sleeping? Officer, officer. Thank goodness I finally got through. I thought I saw someone prowling around outside. And when I checked our car, the tires looked like... Yeah, yeah, that's what I... That's what I thought. The tires looked like they'd been slashed. Officer, if you could please come over. You will soon, thank you. I don't like this. They're already asleep. Don't do it. Don't do nothing. Don't do nothing to these fine people. Wait, so is Chris the knight? Okay, I didn't expect that. It was weirdly like... It was really threatening, like you think he's gonna fucking stab his mom or something? Uh, slash the tires? What for? So they couldn't leave? They, weren't, they wouldn't have left anyways, they were just settling in for the night. Why slash the tires? And so, he created like... So Chris there creating the fount the dark fountains? Is that the idea? To be continued in chapter three in two years. <laughs> if there's really seven chapters to this, it's gonna be a really long time until we see the end of the game because if it's two years per chapter, that's 14 years to do the whole thing, so. I hope maybe Toby can grow the team or something. Or it's gonna be a really long time to get the whole story. Um, wow, okay. Um, I'm really confused by this whole Chris thing. I mean, it's meant to be kind of mysterious and uh, I'm sure there's already a bunch of theories around. And fr Just from what we've seen, my guess is kind of like... I know Deltarune is meant to be its own separate thing. But there's obviously connections between the characters and uh, Chris is obviously colored like Chara from the first game 
and this whole deal with removing the heart like we know the heart represents the soul and I don't know Undertale does this weird thing where like the characters have their own agency and like my guess is kind of like the Chris we're playing that's not Chris that's like us that's like the player maybe I think the player because like they Toby loves to do this fucking fourth wall shit right I think the idea is like whenever you're playing Chris and you're controlling the soul you're choosing these dialogue options talking to your friends that's the player playing Delta room and then when Chris removes the heart he like takes the power away from you the player and then he can do like anything he wants in the world so it would be really really interesting if because uh, now I'm thinking Chris is the dark knight I think it, it was called because the Queen talked about how the knight was opening like dark fountains in all the world so it would be really really interesting if you're the protagonist as the player but the bad guy in the game is your character when he's when you're not in control of him it's like the idea is in between chapters because the player isn't playing like in be between the days and between the chapters chris is just doing his own thing just fucking up the world creating these fountains and like for what reason is it because he wants you to because he knows you're gonna keep playing and then you're gonna cause events that he wants to happen like I don't know, I know that Toby's a really smart guy, he's a really good writer, he's probably got this whole thing figured out and planned out already and like, he's really gonna play us all for a fucking... he's gonna take us on our ride, that's for sure, and uh, I'm sure it's all gonna like, loop in together at the end in like a really clever way where you're like, oh this whole time it was this, this, and like, I'm really curious to see how it goes, uh, I'm sure it's really gonna be mind-blowing the same way that and Undertale was mind-blowing the first time, like, you did the whole, like, you know, at the end with Flowey and then the genocide run and, like, Chara talking directly to the player and, like, all this stuff is, it's good stuff, it's, it's like, it, it's cool shit, it's cool stuff, so, um, that's it for Deltarune Chapter 2, I do know there's, like, a secret boss because I've heard about it in, uh, because the first chapter had a secret boss, but so I know for now I'm locked out of the cyber world, so I can't really go back and check stuff. But I might like play back to there, uh, try and fight the secret boss if I can. So there might be another Delta Rune video. If I can make it to the secret boss and record it, I'm gonna post it because I'm kind of curious to see who it is. But yeah, that's it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had fun recording this video, I hope you had fun watching it. Catch me in the next one for a new game. It's not gonna be Deltarune for a few years now, but hopefully uh, you can find something interesting on the channel to watch. I already got Last of Us, Life is Strange, I'm doing Sekiro, so check out my other videos and uh, see you in the next one. Bye bye.